Okay. Welcome back to Improvision Entertainment. My name is Hunter Munn, and this is Ratchet Deadlocked, which is the fourth Ratchet and Clank game and the first one without a number. Um, I've been having technical issues for roughly an hour and a half. Uh, stream was supposed to start at 9 o'clock. It is now approximately 9.17. The issue started to happening just before I went live. It was very terrible. Possibly due to the wrong power adapter inside of the component video adapter. Not really sure exactly what was happening there. Um, but, but, um, as I swap out my headphones, what I'm going to do real quick is I, I, if you're watching this later on YouTube, you might notice some audio irregularities in the stream that went, uh, or in the stream that ended up being posted. Um, as of, if you're watching this live, it has not yet been posted yet. I just got it up last night. It'll probably go up in a two or three days. Um, make sure I got my restream chat open. And so basically, um, I made certain before stream began that everything was hunky-dory and that we were going to have a good time and that all the stream stuff was going to be worked out and functioning like way in advance. I was prepared two hours before stream started. Everything was going great until about 10 to 15 minutes before stream, in which I started getting distortion on the television screen and it stopped having audio and eventually it stopped putting output. So we're going to hope that that doesn't happen right now. But in relation to that first vid... Um, and anybody who might be tuning in right now, what I'm going to do to try and test the audio is I am going to remind everybody, first of all, that, um, this game doesn't have subtitles for whatever freaking reason. Um, but additionally, you do have the option to go back and watch cinematics. And since all that audio came out kind of bad at the end of the previous stream, and I want everything to have like a good flow forward, the game isn't filled with plot exactly, but it does have cutscenes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, for the most part, mute my microphone. And I'm going to play um, these cutscenes one after the other, possibly with um, commentary between. But the reason I'm turning off my microphone is so that I can turn up the audio on the stream that I'm viewing to make sure everything's turning out okay. So that I can make sure I can hear it. And also, if you're tuning in late or if you didn't quite make out what was going on the last time because the audio was bad... Um, this should get you caught back up to what we're going to be doing on this stream because I'm going to play the cutscenes up to the point where you are. So hopefully that'll be a good time. It, the, none of the cutscenes are all that long, so it'll just take a few mo moments. Let's see what happens. Here we go. Though it would probably be a good thing if I took it out of picture in picture mode. Let's let's try that again with um more things going right. Oh, there's the audio I was looking for. Alright, so it does sound like the stream is making audio, but still doing the cinematics. Let me know if my balance is wrong compared to the game and Coming call from the mayor of Metropolis. The <clears throat> new mayor of Metropolis. Oh, you mean, right. <laughs> uh, just a sec. Uh, greetings, mayor. I. No, no, no. Um, well, long time no see. Uh, no, uh, 
so Metropolis still in one piece, huh? <laughs> Greetings, Captain. I see you're taking good care of my old ship. Well, she need a lot of tuning up, but I've kept her running. <laughs> of course. <laughs> anyway, I'm afraid I bring bad news. As you know, Captain Starshield disappeared over a month ago. I've just been informed that he's been killed. Oh my gosh. No. Oh, what happened? Apparently, he was involved with some kind of illegal combat sport, something called Dread Zone. We believe it was being run by this man, Gleeman Box. He operates an underground media empire from within the Shadow Sector. The Shadow Sector? It's a lawless region of space on the fringe of the galaxy. Many other heroes have disappeared recently, and we fear that they might have met with the same fate. Ratchet, I just wanted to warn you before... Unidentified craft approaching. Uh-oh. <laughs> known as Ratchet. Um, I don't suppose you guys are here to fix the starboard engine, huh? To answer your question, Sin, uh, this is originally at least two-player split screen, possibly four. I don't, I don't think we had the opportunity for four, and obviously the original PlayStation 2 didn't have four controller ports. So you had to buy one of two uh, multi-tap adapters. Um, but I think it was originally four. I believe this version is two-player split screen, um, but obviously, I mean. Zamp went through it like 17 years ago and he's not really up for it and all the other friends who might be interested in playing it again There's a worldwide pandemic happening, so I can't exactly invite them over um, So there was a Gleeman Vox of, of I believe Vox Entertainment. There's a Vox News um, I'm trying to figure out where I'm hearing that additional audio from um, Okay now we can meet Vox. I didn't realize turning off my bugs a second ago was going to turn off the uh, chat, so I'll leave them on this time. Yeah. We have captured Subject 209, Mr. Vox. Excellent. Bring him in. Yes, sir. We caught two strays in the process. Should we terminate them? Give him collars and see if he can get some work out of them first. see oh yeah um i would i would definitely be down for playing with you i don't think the online multiplayer there is an online version to this game's multiplayer which i think still ends up being split screen but i think the servers are down at this point um i have played jack and daxter i i originally didn't play it when it came out um i saw somebody beat it years later and that got me in a got me up to snuff for playing through Jack 2. And then even more years past that, I picked up the Jack and Daxter collection. And um, I played all the way through Jack and Daxter and got the Platinum. I played all the way through Jack and Daxter, or Jack 2, I should say, and missed one trophy. And I think I started playing Jack 3 on the collection, but I don't believe I finished it. Uh, but... Um, as it gives me an opportunity to go ahead and plug it, if you or anybody else is interested in what it is that I'll play next, if I'm not mistaken, I believe I've got Jack 2 and possibly Jack 3 on my uh, poll. So if you or anybody else wants to fill this out, I've only got a couple of votes so far, so your vote definitely does matter. Alright, next cutscene. This is going to be Ratchet finally waking up after he's been kidnapped. Hello? Hello in there? Can you hear me? You've been unconscious for hours. You're probably a little disoriented. Uh, how many fingers am I holding up? Whoops. Uh, 
It looks like we've got a feedback loop in the visual matrix processor. Hold still a second. How's that? Okay, now to activate your speech function. Me out of this thing, you blarg headed crack monkey! I can barely breathe and my tail feels like it's shoved right up my... I, 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 there seems to be a problem with the speech circuitry. I, 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 I'll, I'll take a look at it later. Now hold still. Let's just see if I wired that teleportation circuitry and uh that's one of the jokes of this game is i guess to save on poly uh, polygons on the model uh ratchet does not have a tail for his model so it feels like his tail is shoved up his ass uh and it might be oh by all means you and anybody else um I'll, i believe the two well i be i believe i have it set so that you'll be able to see what is currently winning at the end of the poll but it's basically two short questions three if you want to get fancy all right, um, this is Ratchet going into the arena for the first time, I believe. The new armor you're wearing is standard issue for new contestants. Contestants? We will explain later. If you do not complete the qualification course in the allotted time, we will all be terminated. Yeah, that was for the training course. I believe this is the opening for the first battle. your lunch if you have to watch one more reality dating show is your blogs gone wild video scratched from overuse then it's time to turn that dial to something a little more dangerous time for some real action it's time to blow it up that's right it's time for dread zone the galaxy's number one uncensored unethical and completely underground combat sport blasting straight at you live from the battle dome and now on pay-per-view watch as ratchet and clank take on ace hardlight and the exterminators they save the galaxy three times over, but how long can they survive in the zone? Catch it live, right here, on Vox. Well, to your point, Sin, um, the thing is, uh, I would say Sly Cooper has pretty good comedy, too, as far as, like, character interactions and moment-to-moment and, -moment and s some of the way the boss fights play out, things like that. Um, Jack and Daxter is uh, fun and colorful, These, but ultimately has a serious storyline that gets dark and serious in the second one and then gets lighter and more reasonably serious in the third one because of plot events that happen. Um, I will say, anybody who's watching along with this who, um, like me, is looking forward to Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart, I can't help but notice that Gleeman Vox's robotic or cybernetic arm Looks very similar to the unnamed Lombax's arm in the trailer for Rift Apart. I don't think I'm imagining that. I'm not saying that uh, whoever she is has uh, a connection to Dreadzone, but I mean, it's possible that they have the same uh, Cyberist somewhere. Let's see here. Next one. for me to keep the superstar exterminator from his busy social schedule i just have one question for you okay shoot would you like to buy an ace hard life video game how about an ace hard light lunchbox action figures movie rights collectible trading cards ace hard light is the perfectly manufactured celebrity straight from the presses of the gleam and vox media empire so tell me why is it that i can't give this stuff away well uh... don't answer that let me take a wild guess. It's because my fans can't stand Ace Hardlight! He's a pompous with the charisma of bloggy and Nazis! So, what are you saying exactly? Zip it, Wonder Boy! 
The little billies and Susies of the world are spending a trillion volts a day on worthless swag, and I'm completely cut out of the market. Either you start selling this junk, or I'll find someone who will. Now get out of my sight! Attack you with a spider tank, power level five. I defend with level six lawn ninja. <laughs> Sucker, you fell right into my trap. <laughs> You're exterminated. No, 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 <laughs> Your reactor, slap me some skin. <laughs> That's right, kids. Exterminator trading cards are here. There's Reactor, Shell Shock, the Eviscerator, and your favorite exterminator, Ace Hardlight. Collect them all and exterminate your friends. Hey. I forget who said it, but you know, fun for the whole family. Let me see here. I think this is a couple of battles in through the second planet? Uh, I think so. And now for a Vox News action update. The new season of Dread Zone is underway and on pace to break ratings records once again. This year's mm. contestants include the notorious mafia crime boss known as Ratchet. Seen here at his Mokhtar estate. And to think that other networks actually call him a hero. It's truly sad, Dallas. Other notable contestants include Ratchet's ruthless robotic accomplice, Clank. Uh, I never did like the look of him, Juanita. I'm just glad he's off the streets, Dallas. And lucky for us, the Vox R Star Exterminator crew is headed once again by five-time grand champion, Ace Hardlight. Last season, A shot the galaxy by terminating a record 13 contestants, including Captain Starshield, the Brown Ranger, and Mad Monkey McKnight. Dread Zone's six trillion fans are in for some unbelievable action over the... They certainly are, Dallas. I can't help but note how much Vox News is uh, absolutely spinning into lies uh, about Ratchet and Clank. I'm sure that's not in any way a correlation to what Fox News ba was back then and is somehow worse now. But it has competition in being worse. Alright, let's see here. Shellshock and the Twins. Oh jeez, was this a boss fight I just rolled through? I don't remember now. Let me look. Sports update. Dread Zone's Extermination of the Day Award goes to Shellshock for his 360 Tomahawk finishing move on Plutonium Jones. It was a beauty, Dallas, and it marks Shellshock's third extermination of the season. At fourth, actually, the Omega Twins count as two. Good points. And we're now live with Shellshock for comments. Shellshock? <laughs> Those Omega Twins went down like me little girly man. <laughs> yes, quite ironic, especially since they were actually teenage girls. <laughs> yeah, ironic. Hey, Juanita, are you wearing Ace Hardlight underwear? <laughs> and now for a heartwarming story in entertainment news. Courtney Gears has made a remarkable recovery. After a near-death experience last year, when she was attacked by two psychotic fans. Ah, poor girl. You know, you just hate to see that kind of senseless violence. It's appalling, Dallas. I'd just like to take those two creeps and... <laughs> I'm sure we all would, Juanita. And you may just get your wish, because those very evildoers are about to come face to face with the mighty Shell Shock. Catch it all live on Dread Zone. And for anybody following along, uh, Shellshock, I had to fight him at least twice. I don't think I've beaten him. I think he's run away both times. And Courtney Gears was a propagandist uh, vocal artist, uh, singer in the Ratchet & Clank 3 Up Your Arsenal, who was a very decent boss fight, but I beat her. And so, yes, two ruthless fans, or two, two crazed fans. 
And then this should be the last cutscene I've actually seen, and then we can get actually back into the game, and we can only be, let's call it two hour or an hour and forty minutes late. Here we go. Look at those idiots cheering! Six million bolts of hardware down the drain, and those ingrates are celebrating like like, like I won the freaking lottery. Uh, remind me why I put up with these morons. Who else would watch Vox News? Temptation Asteroid? Galaxy's Funniest Decapitations? Yeah, yeah. Queer Eye for the Tyranoid? I get it. Seems we've underestimated our Lumbax friend. He got lucky. Shell Shock was too slow and too stupid to be an exterminator. He should have been retired years ago. Well, he's retired now. Ratchet, however. Oh, he just may be useful. He's even more popular than you were back in your heroic youth. Come to think of it, he even reminds me of you. I said Yuki. His luck won't last forever. Alright, and there's the setup for... Hey, you know, Ratchet's making a breakthrough. But is he, though? I don't think he is. I think my points are really far behind. Um, Let's see here. What else was there? Oh, yeah, so I did defeat Shellshock, I suppose. Um, alright, let me see. There's a red dot on the map. So I'm on control the nodes? Well, let's just go, I, I don't know what I'm doing right now. I don't know what the mission, what the mission objective is. Node overload. Take control of the mining, drill six control stations, and destroy it. That's right. I believe we are on Chairman Drax's uh, home planet that he screwed up in the first game, if I remember my lore correctly. Apparently, I didn't realize it was on the outskirts of the galaxy, but I'm pretty sure that's where these factories are. So I hope everybody's caught up. I hope you've been having a good uh, viewing session. Um, and I guess here we go. i got to remember all my controls now. I wonder if I gotta go get that big red dot. I'm gonna be semi-lost for just a moment. Oh hey, let me get all of my ammo back. Oh. Whoa! Hey buddy! Oh, that's a problem. Remember, that is not the stream slowing down. Get up, buddy. That's one. And Team Darkstar has taken the first node. Oh, they really did some damage. Not I <laughs> kill me. Not if I kill you first. You know what, Lita? There's no need to get personal, huh? We're both professionals. I don't know if you're both professionals. Oh, right. Alright, look everybody, I have clearly forgotten how to play the game, and you're just going to have to let me slide. Where did that guy go? Yeah, well, experience towards the next level of hit points. Shouldn't be able to shoot through that. That's the whole point. What the? Stop shooting through that, cheater! There goes no number two. 
Oh, that's right, the nodes are persistent, even though that doesn't physically make much sense. Hope you're still out there, Sin. Hope anybody else is. Feel free to uh, chat me up. I try and glance at the chat room at least every... So, hi. Hi, everybody. How you doing? Snappy snap. Alright, let's see where that tank is walking. Okay, it's kind of coming this way, so I want to not be this way. I think I got hit. down I was gonna say. Alright. Uh, this is on one above normal difficulty which I believe is Commando Sin if I'm not mistaken. Um, basically I am playing on I assume hard. Unless the game defaulted to less than hard in which case I am playing on normal. I am already chewed up. Alright, um, and also, I haven't played it a week because of an uh, unexpected family trip, so whatever experience I personally had in skill to actually be good at this, what I was playing in the last stream, has rusted off. So instead, what I'm going to do, is I'm going to see if there's like a, whoa, can you see? Okay, that was weird. The television cut out for a moment. Alright, so I might be back to having issues in a moment. We will see what happens. That was, uh, unexpected. Sim, why is your name red now? Or is that just me? Something went weird. You were green? Well, you're... Blood red to me now. Is that what you want? Weird, I could have sworn I was getting hit there. Alrighty. Wow, that giant exploding drill was neat. Who would have thought the highly toxic drill fuel would leak out the back of the factory, endangering countless lives? I did. That took a couple of deaths, sadly. 3 of 15 skill points, that's all grinding later. Okay. Showtime! Uh, I'll hack these orbs while you hold them up, sir. You check out 
little jerk. Oh, you spinny jerk. Piano tech increased. Okay, okay, enough with the kitty stuff. Let's get some real enemies in there. Half and half. Not sure. Not sure about that one. Uh, what orbs are not hacked, guys? Oh, whoa, watch it. Oh, those orbs and those orbs. Many orbs are not hacked, actually. Let's up the damage with this totally momentum-breaking screen! Okay. Some of it's coming back to me. I'm getting in there. I'm getting in the groove. It also helps that the screen is substantially darker than the last time I played. I hope that it will amount to better color clarity for you guys actually watching up on the stream. The distortion popped up again? Can you describe the distortion? I would like to look for it if it's actively a thing. sounding and it has a few clicks you might possibly be hearing my chair which is unfortunately a fixture of the stream um, it is a hardwood chair it has a single break in the top portion of the seat so that when you lean around it squeaks does it sound like this because if you hear that that's me being unable to sit still because of uh, well ADHD really Clicking like a pen. What was I doing? I wasn't paying attention to that intro because I was looking at the chat room. While I'm here, I'm going to fill up all my stuff. I'm going to double check my... I want to double check my objective. Challenge. Mortars to destroy the anchor orbs holding the crowd sh crowd ships to the ground. You want me to get rid of the crowd? Is that what I don't understand? Oh, oh, I see the orbs. Upgrades from a bot, dudes! Well, yeah, um, I'm not really sure, Sin. Let me know if it persists, because obviously I want to eliminate all problems I can.
Oh, that's right. I forgot I can stand on this pad with the stalker and get a couple of hit points back. It's slowly coming back to me. Let me get those hit points back. There we go. Onwards and upwards. Bigger weapons than before. We can do dread challenges for extra points. Sure, why not? Swarm of Madness in the Labyrinth of Death. Is the Labyrinth of Death the thing where I have to do the um orbs to keep the wall from closing in? I think it might be. Folks, we've added a special twist to the assault mode. Our contestants will only have access to weapons placed in the battle course. Good luck. That is a twist. That's very twisty. Now check increase. that stupid energy. Am I going the right way? All for me? Question mark? No, I was actually beginning to go the wrong way. Still more power! seem to be out of ammo, which is totally unlike me. Ow, I'm being hurt. Ow, I'm being hurt. Who am I missing? Oh! Points! Scoring with the Blarg. High scoring target shooting. High scoring target shooting with the Landstalker. Oh, is this like blow up a bunch of things in a row without missing something like I did the first time? Oh, it's time to play Blargian Turkey Shoot. This challenge tests our contestant speed and accuracy. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Am I not in control? Okay, alright, okay. I 
it's become an unreal shooter. I am totally on rails. Am I trying to hit the things? What am I trying to hit, guys? Get this one? This is, a. Uh, on the upside, any of these challenge things I can complete on lower difficulties if I need to for completion's sake. But, uh, this doesn't control like you'd expect, and, uh, this is cumbersome. I don't know about all this. Well, at least some of these things gave me hit points back. Oh no, you just forced me to do it again. Cool. If only I knew exactly what chewed me up the first time. Oh, I guess it was the rockets. They're... Red glare, bombs bursting in the air. Can't even jump. This is not a good on rails, I'm totally a target. At least I'm getting nanotech upgrades. Let's get upgrades for the Landstalker. Contrary to your belief, I am not doing that again. I am not doing that again? Excuse me. How do I... Get me off of this crazy thing.
Let me double check and make sure there's not any upgrades I can get back at the station. the galaxy know that wearing the right pajamas can give you superpowers i'm gamatron my eyes shoot laser beams <laughs> i'm reactor i can eat metal <gasps> i'm battlehawk i can fly oh! <laughs> oh i love that part uh, we have the latest sales figures yeah what's the bottom line Nobody is buying the new Ace Hard Life merchandise. In fact, sales are down across the board except for fuzzy lombax ears. We sell those? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, they're an accessory for the tiny tots assault weapons kit. Well, you've obviously made some sort of idiotic mistake. Report to V-Level for disintegration. Yes, sir. Wait. Sir? On your way there, tell the lab to set up a focus test. Find out why this stuff isn't selling. Well, okay then. More plot. Oops. Well, I could go for the mind launcher. I'm sorry, morphing? Morphing mod morphs enemies into highly explosive farm animals. This mod fuses billion, b billion, billion, billions? Billions. One more time. Billions of ionized Heisenberg improbability particles onto each ammo round. This results in the generation of a massive improbability field upon impact, which frequently has the effect of turning the target into a pig. Animals may vary due to the unpredictability of quantum science. Uh, that's 100,000 for a mod, but it sounds worth it. Configure mods, yes. Can you... I can have morphing on the basic gun. As opposed to poison. Hmm. You know what? Morphing on the sniper rifle. Wait, no, 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 no. Mor morph morphing on the sniper rifle. Morphing on the sniper rifle. Of course. If anything's big enough that I want to shoot it with a sniper rifle, I want to turn it into a farmyard animal. I think that's I think that's obvious to everyone, really, truly. Uh, that's increases the area explosion radius. Neat. Impact increases knockback. I'm gonna be able to purchase regular mods. Alright guys, let's see if Clank has anything to say. Probably not. Nope. Oh, that's right. Charge foods only go for a short distance in this one. Anything, Al? I don't watch the Dread Zone matches. They're too scary. I mean, I could I could agree with that. All right. Only colors and headpieces. All right, moving on to the next planet on the list. Oh, I'm sorry. Actually, how long has it been? Yeah, let's 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 get right on this uh, safety saving. I am on save slot four, which means I need to overwrite save slot number five. I've gone so far, guys, as to have a backup of the last five saves saved because anybody who didn't tune in last time um, this game is a not great port from the PlayStation 2 to the PlayStation 3 which has crashed twice so far and which apparently is known to corrupt save files slide into my DMs please and thanks what this slide? Or that slide at the end, you mean? It's a good slide. 
I'm not sure to what you were referring, Sin. But I hope uh, I hope you've been doing well, Sin, because you know I heard that you know the time of day that we were going to do the D and D is also the time of day that you were um, would make the most money for working. So that is a joke. I mean, I I can't be sure. This challenge will require you to infiltrate the temple and capture all control nodes to win. It may sound simple in theory, but may prove difficult in execution. Possibly your execution. Yeah. Let's go to the next planet. I gotta get upgrades for that Landstalker, I think, before I can do that one challenge all the way to the points, or possibly knock down the difficulty, which, you know, I'm not opposed to doing. I just don't want to do it on the first try. Char! on a journey through the hallowed grounds of Planet Char. What was once just a boring historic ancient temple is now the centerpiece of this explosive new battle course. Ratchet will have to complete some of Dread Zone's deadliest challenges ever just to gain entrance into the main temple. But even if he survives that far, no contestant this season has come out of that temple alive. A win today will keep Team Darkstar in the running for a shot at the championship title and ace hardline. That is a piggy. But is it an explosive piggy? I don't know. Yes, it is now on fire. Oh man. Hold on. Um, that didn't seem to turn any of the occupants into, a. Uh... Okay, so, not effective on the, um, on the sniper rifle. I think I can change these mid-thing, yeah. Do 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 It's like a dual wielding a morpho gun. Well, I don't know what you are, but you seem dangerous. I'm going to go ahead and shoot you with a sniper rifle. Sniper upgrade! Ooh, 1100 damage. It's more of a jump than I was expecting, honestly. Are we good, guys? Wait, wait. That duck has teeth. What in the universe? That was a lot easier than I was expecting. I, I wonder if I could have done that faster for more points. The temple has been divided into three sections, separated by impenetrable force fields. To advance, Team Darkstar will have to cut the power to the force fields. Well, okay then. It's amazing how quick I will forget the controls for this thing. That was unwise. Hey guys, I'm gonna need you to take that out, yeah.
Huh. Your grandmother must be a really good driver. Oh wait, actually, I can have you guys do that, can't I? No? Yes. You put a shield on him. For example, on the bad portness, uh, you may notice an uh, occasional slowdown on the stream. That's not the stream, to reiterate. That is, uh, that is absolutely the game. Alright, guys. Okay, that's a heal pad thing if I need it. no reason not to play this safe though. We're just going to get those couple of hit points back. I am not a dummy. I am doing it well. Oh, dude, get up. What are you doing? Laying down on the job. That's why you didn't succeed in your overthrow of the universe, robot buddy. Galaxy. Overthrow of the galaxy. Buddy. Lights out. Oh, balls. Balls. Not sure why balls, but balls. Alright, moving forward. Poor Landstalker. It could be faster. If one of you guys could hit that, that'd be great. Wait, hold on. I hear an, a commotion. That's one gate. Yoink! That interrupted my mojo! attacking me now. I do like firing my laser missiles. I like I'm a firing my laser followed by m -m -m missiles. That's not actually what I meant to do. Um, let's go this way.
But I feel you now. I feel you. Alright, pretty healed up. Let's go. Cover him. Yeah, that's definitely the game slowdown. Hopefully I will not have bought up bit off more than I can chew right now. I am third down on health, I should be fine. There we go. anything a spider can though sin honestly because uh i don't think it goes on the ceiling even ratchet can go on the ceiling when he's got gravity boots the next set of nodes have been cleverly concealed beneath these priceless stone carvings here at dread zone we're serious about historical preservation future generations will look back at recordings of dread zone to see these historic sites blown up in high definition video. Glorious high definition! Oh, I don't need to refill my ammo because I did not ammo. I, I, I don't know why he's turned into a fiery smoke cloud. It doesn't seem healthy. I gotta be honest. Listen to that wind go by as I go to the pause or quick select menu. Are you my guys? You're not my guys, right? Yeah, you're, you're not my guys. Run, ratchet, run. Sheepy very much. Oh, that's a big gun, though. Everybody see that big gun over there? That's a big gun.
or at me, just trying to make sure my guns level evenly. Get up, buddy. Far, far away. shield launcher um oh that's time not like ammo or damage so it's gone from 14 i guess seconds to 16 which is not a small upgrade i'll grant you guys cover me i'm on it you can use the charge boots for the quick bursts of speed Probably a good call on my part. The slowdown. The slowdown. What if. Ratchet, what are you locked onto, buddy? Just randomly shooting the floor. then. Problem solved. Getting a little low on ammo. 35 of 35 hit points. Oh no. Well that's not gonna work. So nanotech increased. I'm gonna need you to get a little closer. Man, this guy. Ow. Trying to figure out what was making that noise for a second. Come on, guys. We can do it. It's all up to us, Munkai. Our contestant is really kicking some proverbial butt. And by proverbial, I mean the, uh, I don't really know what that means. It means we're unstoppable. Good answer, my man. Whoa, whoa, what is...
suck lava. Oh, good. A place to refill my ammo. That's... I mean, obviously, I was circling around to get back to there. Yes, Mkai. I hope you can hear the uh, in-game banter uh, better now that I've tweaked all the audio. Just leveling up my shield. Impact mod? Oh, received impact mod. Cool. Got a new impact mod. Cover me! I'm going in! doesn't have teeth but these two do look at them they have teeth that's not right oh yeah I only have the one place left well that's cool Do, 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 do. Probably more lasers. Campaign complete. But not like the campaign campaign, but like a different campaign. Uh, hey Sin, have you been having any further audio issues in the past little while? Salt on frozen tundra. Use only the weapons available to capture the nodes. Oh, this again. Okay. need you robots to get up. Ow. Guys, I need you to shoot even the stuff I'm not looking at, okay? Well. That might be di more difficult than expected. Oh, you little bitch.
I doing? 18 of 30 something? Alright. Cover me, guys. I'm going in. This seems dangerous. They must respawn. Sit down. Sixteen of thirty. I don't know if it's you or me. What? Oh. Okay. The audio. Okay. So what? What's the? Uh, what's the problem sound like? What is that? Shield thing? I don't remember what that is. Fusion rifle. Fusion rifle? Let's not do that just yet. Um, what? Why did you stop moving? I want that for its boom. Ah, 10 of 30 though. I guess we'll see. Kinda hurting. I'll take the shield, thanks. Actually froze him with it. Cool. I don't see any more hit points laying around, sadly. I think the um probability is not with me on this one. Oops. Carefully, very slowly. Right, I should have a shield while I'm doing this. unfortunate. I am once again not trying that again. Alright, let's see here. Landstock or Ratchet must destroy the targets that are placed throughout the areas. Uh, I might be able to do that. There's some stuff I know I either gotta knock down the difficult- oh. No, hold on. I dislike this. Let's not do that. Areas full of swarmers kill as many as possible within the available time limit. I assume with the Ratchet? This next challenge is pure madness. Swarmer madness! Let's see how many enemies Ratchet can destroy before time runs out.
hot stuff. Skill the point. Oh, hold on. Challenge complete, I guess. Um, let me see here. Rank Avenger. Robots in a barrel. Eliminate all of the enemies within each wave. Do I get refills? Saving the ammo. Maybe I don't need to. Now tech increased. Three of eight. I think the uh, barnyard animals are counting against me right now. I hear laser guns. Quite jump out of the way of that. Five of eight. Uh, these challenges are kind of misweighted like that other one in here is pretty difficult but this is not unless this last round is like a boss refight do I hear a boss refight for eight That's not the game I was using, but all right. Nice. Dunzo Magunzo. Okay, what does this require? 50,000 dread points. How many dread points do I have? Oh wait, hold on. Are there dread points missing on earlier things? I might have enough hit points to do m uh, Monuments of Death. Alright, so I'm at 44,500. Uh, 44, mm, that wouldn't quite do it, but let's... I'd be interested to know if I can do this now that I have the hit points. For anybody who wasn't watching the first stream, whenever I did this mission and succeeded in taking down one of the monuments, uh, guys would continue to spawn during the couple of seconds of cutscene that indicated I took down the monument, and I would be immediately killed or very, very highly damaged when the cutscene came to an end. So I'm going to see if either I have enough hit points or if my guys have enough, you know, intelligence to them. That scorpion flail... Legendary Gladiator Quant 
quarter neon X used to call this weapon the old ball and chain. Scorpion Flail extends to its full length when its wielder attacks, delivering a crushing blow capable of disintegrating a small asteroid. Not recommended for children under three years of age. Hmm. Hmm. Mini bomb? Mini bomb. Mini bomb. Mini bomb spawns explosive mini bombs with every shot. This mod can be attached to any weapon that uses explosives ammo and packs multiple deuterium fusion mini bombs into every ammo round, causing the mini bombs to explode out and seek enemies on impact. Huh. I feel like that should be on my annihilator. Of course, I should also pick up other weapons, probably. But you have none on? Select any Omega mod which is available for that weapon, and then press X to equip it. Oh, hollow, wait, hollow shield. That Omega mod will now always work with that weapon until change it or take it off. Use it wisely. I... Once you have purchased a new Omega mod, it can be equipped if your weapon supports Clank. it. Remember, some ones are not compatible with certain Omega mods. Yeah, Vox Clank. Designed his weapons I got it. To gain experience as you use them, which allows them to be upgraded. Upgraded weapons not only do more damage, but can be modified. What made you think that I needed to hear that this many hours into the game, dude? What are you doing? Okay. So I want to put explosions on my explosions so I can have explosions while I have explosions. I think that's probably the best best call on that one. Our contestant will have to destroy three ancient statues all in a matter of minutes. He's oh, and did I mention they keep spawning like the yetis in two? Hopefully I'm over leveled for this now. Alright, this is the part where guys keep spawning. Alright, and then if I'm not prepared for it, they will be upon me when that cutscene comes to an end. stream I repeat that is not the stream skill point for what I missed that Trying to think ahead, put myself in lava so that if dudes run up to me, they'll be hit by it. Alright, you know what? This is looking uh, much more doable than the uh, first time. Wait, did I miss one? Or is that? No, that's just the. No, that's just the starting thing. I don't actually know where the next one is. I, I used to. I, I got up to it one time, I think. Side to side to avoid incoming fire. The Dread Zone bots have heavy firepower, but they are not good at hitting moving targets. Alright, Clank. Oh, wait, hold on. Was that a. Can you hit those things? No. Okay, so we're going up the long way. Do, 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 do. Uh, well, let me. You know, I forgot to ask a few minutes ago, Sin. But the uh, the audio issue that you're perceiving, is it um, is it making you want to maybe stop watching? Like, how bad is it? I wanted those hit points. Why would you take them from me? So rude.
Speaking of taking hit points and being so rude. Who needs those frames anyway? Uh, ick. Whoops. Senses. You be your internet? It's whenever you tab out of stream. Okay, well, it could be you, sure. I did the thing! If anybody else is watching is having audio issues, if you could, uh, maybe just, if you're logged into Twitch or Periscope or DLive, if you could, um, say something so I can try and see what I can do about attempting to fix that. Okay. Two of two dread challenges, three of three, two of two, three of three, two or zero of two. Uh, let me look at these challenges. What do we got? Ankle biters, kill ten swarmers in ten seconds. melty in here. Still, things are not done here. Use the rank a meter. You are small, fuzzy, and weak. Allow me to double check your rankings to see if they are correct. Hey, I'm only last place because I killed the guy who was above me. And if this was Assassin's Creed Odyssey, that wouldn't work that way. So, lay off, lady. Ten swarmers in ten seconds, huh? Alright, wait, hold on. Perfect chrome finish. A seasoned gladiator laughs at the prospects of merciless merciless robots ho robot hordes, but can our hero destroy an entire legion without taking a hit? Hmm. I don't know. Close and personal. Any gladiator can dismantle an army of killer robots with an arsenal of unstoppable power. Too bad in this challenge our hero will only have his bare hands. How many points are these? That's six thousand. Well, that's six thousand. That's ten thousand. I'm one of seven. I do enjoy a go good no-hit challenge. Let's see if we can keep it up. Unfortunately, these duckies are counting against my totals. Duckies Among Us! Barnyard Aminals! I hate that they count against like the total so more guys don't show up immediately. Hmm. 
that is a pig flying, everyone. Please look at this flying pig. Does that mean I will complete this challenge when pigs fly? Stay tuned to find out. Whoa! That's the one that got me before, was that unexpected turret. Any more of you unexpected turrets? Yes. Five of seven. Would really, could really use for some... Whoa, 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 whoa. Alright, one more. Actually, I don't know if that explosion hurts me, so I'm not going to swing on that guy. Seven of seven. I need a taunt button! Can't touch this. Going nowhere fast. Um. Hey guys, I'm gonna try something. Nope, alright, damn. Tried to use the keyboard with the Windows key already plugged in to see if that would get me to the PS button, but nope, I can't double check what that trophy is. Crusader Tournament? In a world where dreams come bigger than life and passions run wild in the streets. Baby, I... I'm not your baby. One cyclic killing machine dare to reach for the stars. This holiday season, Box Entertainment brings you the heartwarming true story of one exterminator's rise to glory. From lowly beginnings as a high school math teacher. But, but, but baby, I'm giving these kids the gift of learning. You're pathetic. Get out of my sight. To spectacular success as a homicidal sports superstar. We're rich. I love you, Reactor. I was always there for you. <laughs> Share the dream. Live the legend of Reactor. I, so I hope I see you again, Courtney. Honestly. You were a uh, memorable boss fight that was not a final boss fight. Hey, Ratchet. I know you're busy with the fighting and the jumping and the hurting, but I have a new bot upgrade Ooh, for you. Ooh, a bot upgrade, you say? Reveal your secrets. Okay, let's see. Range Warrior. Um, let's see. All right, well, the Go Comet. The Go Comet div dives into the destroying with style business with the Range Warrior. Combat bots can sit back and relax while they're while tracking their target from a distance. Okay. And this is a second of four devices used to increase your combat bot's armor and damage capabilities. It is advised to use gloves and shower often. I can almost afford both of those. But I'm gonna go with making them beefier and then come back in 30,000 for the, uh, for the other one. Uh, that, okay, that, that head's not bad. But this is the most Hunterman like head. Good job, Ratchet. You really like blowing stuff up, don't you? I mean. Doesn't everyone like blowing stuff up? What kind of a weird question? Congratulations, contestant. There are now other contestants worse than you. <laughs> Thanks, girl. You're um. What was that other one? Oh, just the wrench. I think I can do just the wrench. If I don't have to worry about not getting hit. Wait, what? Oh, crap. All right, 
Red Zone fans, prepare for the Oops. ultimate showdown as Team Dark Star fights their way through the Crusader tournament and a chance to take on All Star Exterminator Reactor. I can't pull up my quick select menu. Tonight on Red Zone, what happens when we force the criminal oh, wait. insane to use strategy and planning? Let's test this Lombax's puny mental metal by taking away everything. It, it must have auto selected the one remaining challenge. I think I'm going to need a uh, bigger armor. What the hell? Where did this come from? Got infinite twelve ammo? What the buggy heck? Oh, hi, who are you? I don't know you. I didn't invite you. Sorry, sir, I'm gonna have to see your reservation. Why is this gun in this challenge? Why does it have infinite 12 bullets? 12 uses like Oh, oh, wait. I remember you now. Well, whatever. Oh, wait. It's also not leveling up. Did I do some kind of glitch by accident? Does it think I have the wrench still? Uh-oh. No, I was doing so well. With my not wrench gun. Wait, is it counting down finally? Hey buddies! Now we're back to 12 of 12. I'm not getting any experience points on this gun, so I hope it's not totally bug. Do I even own this gun yet? Isn't this the next gun I don't own? I'm now firing the gun when it has no ammo. It's counting up ammo. Do I like TCGS? I think TCGs are a trading card game, but... You've got an S there, so I don't know what that is. What is that acronym, uh, Sin? But in case it's a trading card game, I'm indifferent. My main problem with trading card games is that I am super poor and therefore could not possibly ever own a good game and compete. Wait, what? This time, Red 
Hamilton is utterly doomed. We wire his red zone collar to four control nodes placed in the arena. What? Wait, what? What am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to hit this thing? Is that what I'm supposed to do? Where's my countdown timer? I've got to deactivate four things or I pop in four minutes? Is that what you just said to me? Guys, can you... You can't create a grind rail yet? Wait, here's... is this a grind rail? Is this a grind rail? It looks like it hurt me. It's not. I must have started the tournament by accident. I must have started the tournament, right? I'm gonna need everyone who's anyone to stop hitting me. Sorry, dude, but my guys are a th thick boys now. You can't just walk up and smack them like that. And also, I need to... Ow? I was going to say, I need to leave, but I don't see the next teleport thing. Oh, I guess this is it. Well, I can't be hit while I'm in here. Oh, no, that laser beam is going to finish me. Heal up, dude. Excuse me, let me look at this explosions on my explosions gun. Two minutes remain. Time is halfway up. He's dragging his butt out there, Juanita. Looks like we might have another popper on our hands. Another popper? You guys are sick. Oh, I hope so. This time I brought a shower cap. It's just like being in the front row at Aqua World. You're guaranteed to get wet. <laughs> I take it people are in... Uh, you good, Juanita? Okay, hold on, wait. Oh, I can't pause while I'm in the quick select. Checking my chat. That makes sense. Win, win, win. I don't think so. Yes, yes. This time, she brought a shower cap. I mean, as she probably should have the whole the previous time, I imagine. Why did I explode? Oh, I just had to turn the thing. I didn't actually have to beat the final guys. It's alright, Sin. It's alright. Oh, and just in case anybody watching is wondering, yes, for whatever reason, the in-game cutscenes have bad, I don't know what you would call it, um, priority frames? It's something like priority frames. So, like, they will periodically jump from one position to the next rather than smoothly transitioning like they're supposed to. I, I don't remember that happening in the original game, so I assume that's port. Hey, buddy. Can I shoot you in your reactor? I don't know if you know this, but that's why I have that shield out. Uh... That's cool. I brought up the quick select, and though I haven't been struck yet, I watched my life bar half empty. So, that's great. Oh! The mines are on the explosion! That's neat. 
It, what's not neat is I used all those sniper rifle rounds, and he's uh, very unhurt. Let's go back to... Okay, hold on. Hey, buddy. Excuse me. I'm trying to no-scope you. Whoa, that is so fast. Glad I pulled that out. Oh, uh, let's go for shots. Any no scoping? Yep. a little pig when I'm done. No problemo. Anybody who watched the first streams knows it's time to save. Going back to one. Just in case. Oh, I have enough for the other upgrade. Cool. Range Warrior. Ooh, you got some teal in there now. Pale Rider. Pale Rider looks pretty good. But I mean, you kind of gave me blue and gold with white highlights off the start. I don't, I don't know what else I'm gonna do. I mean, <sighs> Clank. I wish you had more like. Accelerate dialogue. Your numbers are improving. What did I? I must have gone into the arena for the. Okay. For this weapon, Vox Industries borrowed patented mini turret technology first developed by Megacorp in the Bogan Galaxy. When a team of Megacorp lawyers came to Vox headquarters to present litigation, they quickly ended up as contestants on Dreadzone. Megacorp has since ceased legal recourse. Alright, we all know what the priority is. Wait, hold on, there's a wrench upgrade. Features an outer shell, da -da -da -da, consistent with the, this model, offers highest impact power in the Versa Wrench line as was once the preferred melee weapon of Captain Starshield. I'd make that one challenge easier if it hadn't... Hmm. I want you wrench upgrade, but nothing will stop me on my path to mini turret gun. Nothing. Can I mini turret morpher? Oh, I should mini turret morpher. What do you need now? 75,000. Oh no. Ladies and gentlemen, we have built in grind. I am at 53,000 having gotten to this point in the story. And I need 
22,000. Complete the challenge Manic Speed Demon in less than 60 seconds. Which one's Manic Speed Demon? Is that the first race thing? Oops, what did I do? Manic speed. So you're not gonna tell me. Camera shot? Break 1500 in cameras. Oh. How much is that? 400 bolts. I'm gonna have to do a lot of little things. King of the Leviathans in less than two minutes? Less than two minutes? Pro kill ten enemies in 30 seconds. Kill ten enemies in 60 seconds with the fusion rifle. That would require them to line up, really. 25 enemies using the shock mod in 45 seconds. Use the wrench to kill 15 enemies in a row. Hmm. Hmm. Well, hold on. That one's the wrench. That's what's left there. Assault the frozen to yeah, you can tell by the points total that I'm supposed to have some sort of like upgrade or something later or possibly better bots I do have better bots now If only they could protect me Wait, no, that's the turret one only the weapons available to capture. Oh, yeah, you know what? Let's let's try this again with better robots who can shoot at range More powerful thicker robots that can shoot at range Let's try this one. That would almost be enough points doing it by itself. Hope everybody's having a good time. Let's see how well you guys shoot these guys now. You got him eventually, guys. I'm gonna rely on you, alright? Did I only get one shot with that? Actually, this seems too difficult now. Not that it was easy before. Since I'm basically shielded while I'm doing this, maybe I should just go for the thing. Now pay attention this time. You just pretty much die. Alright. Doing it the way I was doing it before is actually better. Some of you guys stuck around.
Alright, I guess I can't do that one yet. Well, hmm. You know what? Um, I'll tell you what, guys. I need to get a quick drink refill anyway. So, um, I'm going to pose this question to you. Should I back up out of here and lower the difficulty just to complete some challenges and get the points so I can go forward? Because I am being prevented by not having enough points of going forward to the next planet and also the next set of, like, plot, whatever that might be. Oh, and you know, because I didn't do it before, um, after the end of the stream last week, the extra stream, I wanted to say uh, thanks to Megan Snarfle for following, and uh, Sin, who's here in the chat, I wanted to rethank also for following. Let me repeat that. Let Repeat it. There you go. And um, otherwise, just... Type your uh, thought there in the chat, uh, whether you think I should uh, back up level down. The problem is, uh, obviously, that I will have to turn the system off and turn it back on because, you know, oh, I think so. Well, I actually might be able to quit the title screen. We'll see about that. But whatever the case, do you think I should lower the difficulty, come back, get some points, and just go forward? Because, um, you know, this this game is fun and combat -y, but it's not nearly as entertaining as having more than one person playing at the same time. It's, I mean, or at least I don't think it is. I mean... I could be wrong. I have the same kind of issue with Monster Hunter. I think Monster Hunter is a great single player experience for a lot of people, but I don't pretty much have any fun by myself playing Monster Hunter, but I have tons of fun playing with increasingly more people. So uh, I'm going to go refill my drink and I will BRB. Uh, no, I will not be Crash. I will BRB. There we go.
Hello once again everybody. As soon as that sounds good, sounds good about dropping the difficulty. Because that's what I believe you mean. Wait, hold on. Let me double check and make sure I'm saved. That's 10 minutes ago, we're fine. Mm-hmm, okay, all right. Oh, okay. So that's not as much a hiccup as I thought it was. Uh, yep. And then here it asks me my difficulty. But difficulty, it does not matter for skill points, trophies, except for the three skill points that require you to be on that difficulty that's down past zero. Ah, I get to be a potato. Whoop. Make sure I've got the full screen up. Let's see if this is actually easy or not. Now pay attention this time. One shot with the shotgun. One shot with the shotgun. Yeah, yeah. This seems a let's move on difficulty. One shot with the- oh, I got a little hurt. Wait, I literally got a little hurt. I got three points off. So much potato! Alrighty, we're just gonna- we're just gonna get some points. It's crazy how crazy Ratchet and Clank games can get, and this is like really the first one with serious slowdown. Like unquestionable crazy amounts of slowdown. But anybody who might be watching, um, if I next move on to Ratchet and Clank Future Tools of Destruction, that will be. Uh, oh, I miss. I passed into like the next day or whatever for my phone no longer being silenced. Totally, I was like, obviously everybody knew what that noise was, but I was like, there shouldn't be any noise. I I did what I was supposed to. All right, silence until tomorrow morning. That works. Um. Anyway, the next game in the series, unless we go to the PSP game, is actually, um will actually be the first game on PlayStation 3 that is actually made for PlayStation 3. And some of the downside to that is uh, it's early enough in the PlayStation 3 life cycle that it doesn't have any trophies. So that's unfortunate. Like three shots and you're an animal? That eh, makes sense. I really want you to stop hitting me. I kind of like this ice cyan colored armor with the indigo highlights. It's... Get up, buddies. Flying piggy! This is almost laughably easy. Whoops. Oh no, I hit it. Ah oh, well. After as much trouble as it was to start this stream, you know, we deserve it a little bit easy, I would say.
And challenge. Uh, wait, is that enough? I need 4,000. I am curious if this target thing is easier. Like if the Landstalker does more damage. like half of it right there. Time for all the pew pews! Is this a recharge thing? What? That wasn't the path I took before. Wait, did I succeed? I guess I succeeded. Huh. The Velix Belt. Planet Torval. Ratchet, you have now unlocked the Velix Belt campaign. Okay. Locate the hidden ships and escape the planet before the enemies can track you down and put you six feet under. Or, traverse the lighthouse to activate the Gamma Energy Beam. Well, Gamma Energy Beam sounds good. Actually, they both sound kind of good. Saying. Imagine my screen shows a hover ship inside the hangar bay. Okay. Um Oh uh, wait, when was the last time I saved? Did it auto save? Oh man, I hope it auto saved. Uh, 34. Yeah, that looks right. Phallic spell. Kerr. Got it, got it, got it. So I was finding that kind of fluffy, so I'm going to turn the difficulty... I'm thinking about... Man, the difficulty's normally on contestant. But I've been playing on Gladiator. Yeah, whatever. I just, I saw the repetitive tedium ahead of me before getting those points, so I was like, you know what, let's just... We're live. 
Alright, just did that. Ratchet, my screen should... There, the Hunter Mine Launcher. That's the gun I ended up using for the one thing, and I didn't even have it yet. Mini turret launcher! There's a hover ship inside the hangar bay. How many times you want to do this? Finally, some level. Oh wow, it does a little bit less damage than the uh, sniper rifle when it's level 3. Get up, buddy. Thank you for just making a grind rail. I really appreciate it. Whoops! Mix and match? That was a lot of skill points. Ice on this shield is making any difference, though, to be honest. You think you can just get away from me? I can't bring up the uh, quick select when I'm on the rail. Maybe if I'd shot the guy I was trying to aim at the whole time game. Hmm? What do you think? Snappy snap! Whoa, what the hell? Uh, squeeze me? I- but, but, but. Rude! Stop, stop doing that. Stop doing that. Hey boss, do you reach awesome? Do I reach awesome? What? Yeah, I kind of like this blue armor. This one shows up and flies away quick. Ah, 
Ah, oh, that lava ball stuck on him. Oh no! I've been dangerously hurt. Oh, wait, is that a bottomless pit I'm running around? No? There's a crater. Where the heck did I fall before? know what bonus thing I can put onto the uh, hollow shield gun but it's uh it's not this one I don't know if I had anything on before did I have anything on let's try acid that way if dudes run up and run through it maybe they'll take take acid damage Go no, I can't really go around. Can't believe I got this wounded doing this the second time. say I deserve that, but I was expecting it. Is this the one that sticks around and shoots? I don't think it is. Shoot him! 
shoot him! Damn it. Whoa. Boom, baby. That was bothersome. And wasteful. Alright. Not as bothersome and wasteful as falling into this pit. Alrighty then. Uh, good having you, Sam. If you come back, cool. Um, normally my stream would end at 1 a.m., but um, I kind of don't feel like it because it took me like an hour and a half to get started. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go for a little while. Um, I hope to see you when you get back then, if you're still up. Otherwise, my stream tomorrow should start at uh 9 p.m. as would be the normal time, Eastern Standard Time. I think I almost flung myself into oblivion there. Two birds, one stone. Eighteen seconds. Okay, it doesn't look like they're taking like poison damage go through the I don't know why you can put mods onto that Omega mods onto this shield, honestly. Excuse me, what's over here? Whoa, problems are over here. That's what's over here. Get that health.
Kind of like in the shield launcher, honestly. Why are you shooting at the floor, Ratchet? That's not helpful. Why do you have a kind of lock-on system if you don't kind of lock on? It's just a targeting system? Oh good. Mamma Misa! Why can't you suddenly hit into the air? You just didn't feel like making more guys? Whoa, what? Whoa, hi. There was a little bit of plot in there. I'm so quick strafing around that I, uh, I strafe back and get myself hurt.
Hey, don't shoot at me from off screen. From out of res view. took out an entire school with the uh, shots maybe possibly death throw above sounds good Tech increase. Wow, the little guy pulled it off again. And here I thought we were looking at a half day, Juanita. Hmm. I did the thing. No time for cutscene. In stage three, Ratchet's objective is to power up the central lighthouse. But first, he'll need to activate power stations at the north and south ends of the asteroid ring. I'm sorry, did you say mini turret launcher? Because that's what I heard. Mini turret launcher. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I also hear wrench upgrade? Because that sounds pretty cool, too. Wait, what? Why isn't it... Oh, man. I'm intrigued by you, Mini Turret Launcher. You can Morpher, but is Morpher the right answer? That's a question. Possibly freezing is the right answer. Why oh, can't? Where's this gun on my quick select? Oh. Yes, possibly freezing is the right answer. You're not close enough, little turret? Let's get you some experience, little turret. Take the big guy, it'll be great. Oh, I got hit. That sucks. You are my sunshine. There are additional gadgets available on your secondary quick selection. Excuse me? Oh. I don't get to pick where stuff goes on my quick select menu, and I have what is that? Swing shot? Wait, I can just use swing shot? Why did you tell me I could just use swing shot? You jerks. Ratchet, you are currently in the south power station. You must locate four power orbs. Hack the orbs to power up the station.
Are you guys succeeding? That is not what I meant. Hilarious as that is. Moving on. As always, gotta level the gun. That beam is very menacing, but... Oh, yeah. From 50 to 60. Oh, well. Oh wait, I don't need, damn it. I could have waited on that. <laughs> Whoops. Arbiter ammo. Sounds the goodness. That's a one! Oh, never mind, that was two? That was two, apparently. I did the thing. same time, but alright.
Shots fired. Oh, oh, come on. Hmm? Oh. Making good time. Making good time on the military gun. Whoa, elevator is too fast for loading. He's like a light bulb. So much bright. Hmm? I'm not good with words. This looks like a lead up to a boss. Why is there hit points and a bunch of refresh? Oh, you know what? I guess I need one hit point. Seems wasteful, but otherwise I'm not going to get back up here, I don't think, so... Mini turret launcher. A little more powerful. Whoa, okay, watch it with that slowdown.
this. Increased. I just realized I'm getting kind of quiet because I'm focusing. Boots. Time extension. Use the hover ship to nav navigate the Valix Lighthouse station before the timer runs out. Okay. I don't see where I'm going. I don't see where I'm going. I'm still going up. Okay. See where it was supposed to be going. Hopefully, I have enough time to make a small mistake. Yeah, okay. Ooh. Your land is my land. Let's see here. Control nodes are under enemy command. Travel to each node and retake them to win. That's probably more difficult than it sounds like. Ratchet must capture each node in sequence before progressing to the next node. If he gets lost, he can ask any of the helpful psychopathic robot killers positioned around the belt for directions. Oh, 
thought there was going to be even more guys. Ice, ice, baby. That means they shoot faster. Ow. I don't need to be taking any damage now. That's, that's not cool. That's... Chill out. 1100 points. That's one, I guess. guys between me and my destination. So I did that. Planet Torval. Hope you guys are having a good time. Um, if you're not normally up this late, um, I mean I am, but I'm not normally streaming this late. I tend to be streaming between 9 p.m. and 1 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. You can catch videos such as the one that you are currently watching, this stream. Um, with the front of it snipped out for all the technical issues. Oh, my bad. Subject 135. Choose one of the following items. A Gordon Gears musical lunchbox, a talking secret agent clank bobblehead, or this super cool ace hard light action figure with kung fu grip. Hey, what's a big idea? Lombax guy who smoked reactor, he was like, Who you thought is a little out of his mouth? Subject 138. I don't know. 
Okay. Uh, these streams can be found later uh, on the Improvision Entertainment YouTube channel. That's if you search for Improvision Entertainment, or give me a second. Welcome back to Red Zone fans. Today we're live from Planet Torval. Team Darkstar has dominated the Dread Zone circuit so far, but I think their luck will stop here. They've just been sent to one of Torval's massive Ace Heartlight toy manufacturing really? plants. And although the plant was shut down due to shoddy sales, one of Ace's ships still remains. Team Darkstar will have to find that ship and escape with it before Dread Zone's most elite forces hunt them down. So if you happen to be watching in the chat, you can go to this link that I'm putting in there. That is the link to the Improvision Entertainment YouTube channel. Or like I said, if you're any other time, you can search for Improvision Entertainment on YouTube. Um, searching is easier than typing in that long link. I would recommend just clicking on that if you're here. But um, to get a shorter URL uh, would require more subscribers. So if you can find it in your time if you end up liking the content that me and Daniel and Captain Soja and others uh, are all contributing to. Um, then you can subscribe to that channel and that'll get us closer to having a shorter link. And for my sake, um, I would really appreciate it if anyone's there, if you might find it in you to uh, click on that form and just answer the like two pretty short questions, three if you want, I mean, that'd be nice, but two uh, otherwise really short questions just about like what we, would you like me see stream next, how you would like me uh, like to see me stream, like how you would like to see me go through the content. Like I said, two short questions. Um, that's all that's really there. And to anybody who wants to join us all for conversation, current events, or video games, or what have you, there is a link to the Improvision Entertainment YouTube, I mean, uh, Improvision Entertainment Discord, or you can search for Improvision Entertainment on Discord. And if you like any of the content that we produce either now or in the future or what have you, um, you can go to patreon.com slash Improvision Entertainment if you feel like, you know, Maybe you think we deserve like a buck a month. Even a buck a month would be really helpful. Um, hmm. Do I, well, I'm not getting really armor upgrades. So there's not really anything else to save for. I should start getting all the rest of the weapons. That probably does a lot of smashing damage. So maybe I should wait on that. I'm almost there. We'll have to deactivate a force field to gain access to it. I'm still standing too close to this thing. There we go. Zombos? They are zombos. All right, zombos. Oh, wait, they're both active. Make sure I can see my uh, restream chat really quick and make sure nothing else is going on. Alright. Sorry about that, all that previous clicking is uh. Hey, Arbiter Ammo. Shoot him! Ow! 
Sure. Rank it up. Twelve hundred. You get them both? You do fast work, dude. Way to go. Did that not give me health? Mini turret launcher! step through the uh, shield. Alrighty then. Uh oh, force fields! A group of flying drones power the shields by staying in perpetual motion and transferring their kinetic energy. Ha! Uh, even though I just read that off a cue card and don't have any idea what it means, I do know that Team Dark Star will have to destroy the drones to disable the force fields. And actually, I read that part too. What are you gonna do? Sue me? Ratchet, shoot down the swarm of flying drones in order to deactivate the force fields. Pretty sure this is not how conservation of energy works. Okay, I just I, I have to hit him a bunch of times. While avoiding stuff. Just trying to figure out if there was an alternate fire.
part seems a lot harder to go through on this direction. This is, uh, boring. <laughs> and I'm just gonna be perfectly honest. And any slight mistake off the road could just end it, as we saw a minute ago. And also this bike is kind of a annoying noise after a few minutes. Alright, maximum nanotech increase, I guess. Whew. Spotless. Spotless? And I had to do that to progress, so... Team Darkstar has now arrived at the location of the getaway ship. But hey, oh, there's nothing there! The ship is hidden. It could take days, even weeks of painstaking searching just to find it. Ratchet, if you activate the vector transmitter nodes in that area, I can triangulate the beacons to locate the ship. not what I wanted. I wanted the- wait, where's the other one? Yeah, okay. It's good on the heavy dudes. Check. What kind of mods can I put on this thing? No, not that. This thing. Hmm. This would probably be better with shock, actually. I should pick up shock mod next. Spawning? I don't want any part of spawners. You're you're officially off my uh, Christmas list.
What is that? That's a new. What the? What? What? What shot me? Ruid. Four hundred to five hundred. Not a bad boost. You guys want to do some work? I'll keep picking you up. We'll treat it like it's Halo and Legendary. Well, that one has tuts. Wait, I'm dead. What? How am I dead? Uh, I might be falling asleep. It's hard to say. Okay, all right, come on. All right, boys. We are here with most of our health this time. Oh no, except I already did this one. And I assume the chest is still gone? Yeah, cause I, yeah. Cause Resh and Clank rules, got it. Stop getting attacked so I can look and see where I'm going. I was really close to that other one. Alright. 
I wasn't really sure because it was telling me one and then telling me the other. Tech increase and I healed a little bit. Let's make sure there's not any more health in this room. There is. We gonna pick it up, that is for show. Alright, got it. 39 of 44. He's a fire in his laser. Uh-oh, uh-oh. That's a problem. Mini turret launcher level 6. With more speed than it need. See how to get up there. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. Need that nanotech? Alright. That's a go forward, come back situation? That's unfortunate. I need more health. going to be bad in about three seconds. Ugh. Oh, hi. Doopy doopy doo.
Hi. Just enough times? actually too close to be hit by it. That's unfortunate. Cool. Oh god damn it, Nappa. Snipe me from the side. Don't badmouth me. I own you. Corporate flail is not leveling. How am I everything? shield launcher time increased even further get up dude Stop that. Nobody loves you.
Cool. I think I might have done it. Yay! Might need to knock the game down to so normal. So that's where the ship was, under the statue. Well, I just lost 50 bolts. Unfortunately for Ace's ego, Team Dark Star will have to blow up the statue to access the hangar underneath. Sounds good to me. Ratchet, you will have to command your bots to set the explosives on the statue. Brainwash? Brainwash mod causes affected enemies to attack other enemies. Each ammo round is injected with a potent drug known as Frendium. Oh, sorry, Frendium Paranoiathol, causing the target to see temporarily see his allies as angry horde of political talk show hosts. That sounds horrifying. Truly. Let's see here. What did I put that on? Honestly, I put it on the mini turret gun, but... Hmm. What would I put that on? If you're watching this later on YouTube, put your votes in the comments below. And uh, if I'm still playing this game to complete it, when I see your comment, I will uh, go by your comment. What would be good... for targeting your allies? Shotgun? No, shotgun's good on the poison, the spreading the poison around. I don't know. I filled up, right? Yeah, okay. Alright, so... Hunter Mine Launcher. I'm pretty sure that's from the second game also. Oh, nope, that's the thing I was using earlier. Oh man, that's four plants. that by accident. you. Are you trying to goad me? Because I will not have that. That was in the game, or if that was thunder outside, honestly. I think that's. Oh, I think it's rumbling in the game. Okay. Do, 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 do.
Whoa, 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 whoa. You guys are going me, 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 me. So, oh, that was a lot of damage. That was the rest of it. How many times you want to do this? You know what, buddy? You ask a valid question. And also, I haven't saved in a while, and um, that's dumb because this game uh, crashes. So, save slot one over save slot two. And having saved, I am going to put the game on normal difficulty. Oh, that's time played. I thought that was telling me what time it was. I was like, that's not right. <laughs> Contestant difficulty is the difficulty the game defaults to. So let's see what happens. It's just, I can do it. I think you guys have seen it up to this point. I can do it, but like, it's becoming a little bit grindy, a little bit tedious. And I don't think I get like more experience for doing it that way, so. I mean, maybe I do. Maybe bigger bad guys get you more experience faster. I don't honestly know. Hey, wait, do you only take two shots now? Nice. Oh, wait, because... I mean, yeah, because I lowered the difficulty, but also because I thought they were supposed to already be doing that, so... Did I get it? What am I doing? Did I do it? This is absolutely unbelievable, folks. Ratchet has defeated the Torvald Battle Force and escaped from the planet surface aboard a space shuttle hidden inside the Ace Hard Life Memorial. Only on Dread Zone, folks. You can't make this stuff up. I mean, somebody had to make it up.
Vindicator Tournament. Ratchet, you have now qualified for the, the Vindicator Tournament. You know, Captain Star, she holds the all-time scoring record for this tournament. Ah. Cool. Alright, I am going to do turret trouble. I think. Because... Oh no, not that type of turret. Not the type of turret I envisioned. I was thinking it was like defeat with mini turret. I think one of them went under the platform. No, wait. Turret battle? Points. Hmm. None of these tournaments have taken very long before. Oh, but wait, I am running out of hard drive space. And it would be awkward to, like, try and do the clip and then only have, like, a couple more minutes. So I'll tell you what. Um, I hope that whether you're watching this now or you're watching in the future, you had a good time. As previously stated, I am Hunter Munn, and you can catch me Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday from 9 p.m. to 1 a.m. Eastern Standard Time unless tech falls apart like it did tonight. Then we go a little bit longer, apparently. Um on twitch.tv, periscope.tv, and dlive.tv. Um, you can catch any of these uh, video streams um, uploaded to the Improvision Entertainment YouTube channel, which, as stated earlier, is at this link you can get to, or you can search for Improvision Entertainment on YouTube. We also have a Discord. That's Improvision Entertainment. Search for on Discord, or you can use this link if you're here. And if you could, if it's not too much trouble, less than two minutes, I swear, it's real quick. Just a couple of, uh, just like two answers, three if you want to push it, for this questionnaire, that if you answer it will determine what games I'm going to play next, or like, there's a decent chance I'm playing Deadlock, Deadlo I mean I'm playing Deadlock to the end unless shenanigans happen as it falls apart. But past that, um, I believe I will be playing Carrion next if I can. But past that... That's when you the votes that you you choose now. I will do them, and I will probably do more than one of them, um, if especially if things are close. Like two of the current voting totals are very close together, so uh, I will do both of those games. Um, otherwise, uh, I gave you the Discord. I gave you the YouTube. Uh, the link is there for the oh, and of course uh, Patreon. If you feel like you've been entertained by me or somebody else who's contributing to Patreon uh, to uh, Improvision Entertainment, you can get to us by patreoncom slash Entertainment. Even a buck a month would be really awesome. Um, 
Shout out to our longtime patrons Todd and Carl, and our newest patron Brian. And otherwise, I hope you like this stream. I intend to continue uh, Deadlock tomorrow night, most likely. I don't think I'm starting anything else, so it should be more Deadlocked. Um, I hope you had a good time. I think I already said that. Well, I don't. Th There's nobody ta chatty right now, but that doesn't mean nobody's here in the chat. Uh, I understand some people just show up and watch and what have you. So I, you know, I hope you and your family are safe and all that good stuff. Um, things are crazy out there. I um. Well, I've been playing Ratchet Deadlock. My name is Hunter Munn. This is Improvision Entertainment, and I will see you in the future.